It's a brand new day. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Jill. We're here on The Road Report where we're talking about how to build the community we want to live in, but focusing on who we need to be. As the population gets older, the world gets colder, I believe that to survive, we need to get bolder. And with that, today we're going to continue one more time with our human design, but in relationship to how we live in community, what's best for us as humans. So before we launch into that, it's actually really interesting. We're going to take a deep breath, hold for four, exhale for four, and see you on the other side. So one of the things that I learned that I had never really thought about was that people are actually designed to live in tribes, small groups, not exceeding more than 150-ish people. 100 to 150 is where people do best. And at a natural level, people would separate out within after numbers got too big, which is really interesting when you think about how we live now. And I think one of the biggest things that I notice, and I can only assume never lived in a tribe of 100 people, is that one of the things that happens, the more people you live around, the more anonymous you become. So it really becomes anonymity versus accountability. And, you know, I've been focused on small towns for a while. And when, not now, but at one point, people knew everybody's business. And part of that was accountability. You just couldn't get away with very much. Although I will caveat that everybody knows who's breaking the law in here. Nobody ever gets arrested for it. But it's a it's an interesting thing that as we become in larger and larger groups, we become more anonymous to the point where I knew someone from New York. She said the whole point is you look down as you never give eye contact. Now, when you drive around here, it took me a long time to get in the hang of it. People put their hand up. You know, when they're driving, you wave to each other. But the minute you get away from the small town, people stop doing that. So we aren't designed to live by ourselves out in the middle of nowhere. There's a few people personality wise who might enjoy that. But even I need connection to people because there's stuff I need and I need a little bit of conversation now and then. And, you know, so there's exceptions to the rule. But in general, we are designed to live in a group doesn't mean, you know, in a commune on top of each other. But there's a lot of really positives to that. And one of them is anonymity versus accountability. And the other is just real hardcore survival. Right now, we've moved into the situation where we think, if I can pay for it, I don't need to be nice to you. I don't need to be respectful. I don't need to even be accountable. I can do whatever I want because I've paid for a service. And that only takes civilization so far. So we're losing our, you know, I, I've, it feels like we've lost a lot of our humanity because we've taken the human design out of how we're supposed to actually live and thrive. And so as we sort of wind this week down, talking about what does it mean to, to uh, design a lifestyle or a life based on what our human being actually needs, I think community is a really big piece of this conversation. So that's just a little bit more something to think about in terms of how would, what kind of community do you want to live in? And we really need to visualize and think about it. And I've spent a lot of time doing this. You know, I can't pretty much get past the idea of, you know, for me, what I love is sitting around the campfire with a group of people that I really enjoy having good conversation. Um, that's something that isn't, you know, a big picture idea. It's just a tiny picture. But we need to start thinking about what does it even mean to live in community because we've really lost our ability to do that. We just call the police officer. We call the code regulators. We just report and, you know, retaliate, and we don't work things out together. The future, if it's colder, will demand that we do. And as we get older and we get less able to care for ourselves, it's going to be even more essential to be part of some kind of community 
that has the ability to assist all of us as we get less physically able to assist ourselves. And that really needs to be started now before you need to those relationships take a long time to build and I guess that's the last piece I mean community isn't about systems it's not about structure it's not about form it's about relationships and that is probably the most important thing because everything in our world is a relationship even what I'm talking about right now our awareness of ourselves and our relationship to who we are designed to be as a human we may be a spiritual being having a human experience we're still in this body and it's our relationship with it that determines our life it's our relationship together that determines our world so just a more a little bit of light stuff to think about but I will leave all that with you as we wind down and so I'm going to say thank you for sharing this time with me. Uh, also, thank you to all of you who subscribe. The subscribers are helpful because as the numbers get up, I'll be able to hopefully get interviews with people to bring some more information to these topics. If they know that only a few people are watching, they're not going to want to do it. So I'm hoping to continue to get the subscription and the views up. Thank you to all of you who have decided to purchase the book. I really appreciate it. It keeps this journey moving forward for watching these videos and sharing these videos. And I appreciate the notes that you're sending me to say hello. So with that, we're gonna take one more deep breath for the road. As together, we will rise with the sun in our eyes, love in our heart, our feet strong on the ground, together walking on survival road, one day at a time. So live free, die wild, my friend, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>